You are now tuned in to Heat Check with Ty Slatter and Antonio Turner right here on GTA Sports Network. Follow GTA Sports Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget GTASportsNet.com for all things in the world of sports. So the Hawks sent John Collins to the Utah Jazz for Rudy Gay in a future second round pick, unloading the three year $78 million for roster flexibility alignment with looming changes to the salary cap. This was according to Woj over ESPN. Broke the internet to John Collins trade three years later. He'd been on the trade block for three years. And all you got back was Rudy Gay and a future second round pick. Your thoughts, Tom? Uh, congratulations to the Hawks. Yeah, I had to get rid of somebody, and John Collins been on. He got the worst con- one of the worst contracts too. He must have one of the best agents in the. In the no, league. Well, he got paid based off of um, one year. That All Star year that he made him and Trey made it three. Was that three years ago? Did they go to the Eastern Conference Finals that year? When they went to the Eastern Conference Finals. So they've been into 2019, right? I think so. Yeah, into 2019 or whenever. Yeah, I think so. And they went to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think it was 2020. Okay, 2020. What, oh, well, 2019, 2020 playoffs, whatever. Right, 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 right. That year, they, he was an all-star, and he got paid after that, and he ain't been he ain't been healthy. He ain't lived up. He, all the average 15. Giving me uh, Julius Randle vibes. No, nah, at least Julius Randle averaged 20 and 10. Until the playoffs. <laughs> Until the playoffs, but John Collins went and averaged 20 in the regular season. I don't think he was averaging 15. So is it that he's not that good, or he just didn't put – he just wasn't playing with a heart? He did what a lot of people do, like you say, contract year. Uh, play hard, got paid, got laid. Yep. I mean, just went back to his normal. I'll go get – I'll get 13 or 14 points. 13, 14 points. I'll shoot 45% from the field, seven rebounds. I'd be cool with that. What? Like, like I told you when you sent it to me, I said the fact that Rudy Gay was the main piece of a trade in 2023 is wild. Right, and Rudy ain't been an uh, effective starter in six years. I said effective. Not his prime. <laughs> it been at least 10 years. It- <laughs> yo, 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 oh, thing. I think you froze up, bro. Yeah, did you? Hey, you unfroze you on your end? Oh, there. You back now? Yeah, you see me? Yeah, now I do. But you froze oh, okay. too. Okay. Yeah, I was like, what happened? <laughs> it just went out. What'd, what'd you say after that? I said it, uh, uh, it's been 10 years. I said 10 years. What'd you say? Yeah, I said that was his prime. I said it's been six. Okay, because now this is 2013, Rudy Gay. Yeah, I said oh. since it was a, I said since he's been affected. I would have, I would have, I would have said uh, a first round pick. The, yeah, I would have said yeah. Atlanta definitely won this trade. Rudy Gay in 2013. Oh my god. Yeah, that was his prime. But six about six years ago, he was still an effective starter. <laughs> you know, a broken clock is right two times a day. I think they won it because that's a bad contract. No, no, no. But, you know, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just decide. I really gave the fact that he's still in the league is, is amazing. But, exactly. um, I mean, you know, him and Uncle Jeff, basically. That's fair. That's fair. And Uncle Jeff got a ring this year. So. Yeah, exactly. That's where Rudy's at in his career now because they're probably going to release him in Atlanta. To, to a contender. Let him pick his own team because he at that point in his career where he could do something like that. That's fair. That's fair. Now, um, the good thing about John Collins is he's not the number one or the number two option now. He's like the fourth option out there in Utah. I'm being nice and saying three, the third mm-hmm. option. I am said I'm being nice. He's the fourth. I can name three top three players on that roster better than him. Well, there's two better. There's one that's debatable. Which one's debatable? And it ain't Lori Marketing. No, Clarkson. Oh, I'm picking Clarkson over John Collins. But it's debatable, though. To who? <laughs> 
Because Clarkson's efficiency is not the greatest at times. At least he shows up. I mean, I give you that. I love Clarkson. He might get a little streaky, like like on some Kyle Kuzma type beat, but yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I would say it's debatable. But he's still I'll go better. Mark in and he's Walker Kessler. I'm yeah. gonna go with Mark and Walker Kessler first, and then I would debate between Collins and Jordan Clarkson, depending on the day. Based on the performance or lack thereof in Atlanta, THT is better than John Collins right now. I would go with I might use THT. That's a different discussion. They picked his option up too, actually. He had a break. He had a breakout. He had a breakout year last season. Yeah, Rich Paul said they picked up his option. I saw that yesterday. Yeah, let's let's get to it. Um, these are some of the older trades that we didn't get to discuss last week. Oh yeah. Uh, Timberwolves signed Nas Reed to a three-year, forty-two million with a player option. That's really sad, Rudy Gobert. Shout out to uh, his agent Sean Kennedy and Jeff Sorts over Excel Basketball. Uh, Cause he went undrafted out of LSU, had his best season last year with 12 points to five rebounds per game. Uh, man, and then a little fun fact: uh, after February All Star break, he scored 242 points in 312 minutes of playing time. And the only person that did more than him was the MVP Joel Embiid. Damn. Oh yeah, uh, Nicole Jokic was third on that on that random ESPN stat, by the way. Yeah. Uh, right. yeah, 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 right. But he's the best player in the league, though. Woo. Never mind. Woo. <laughs> so, um, that being said, your thoughts on the Nash Reed resign? I mean, I'm not mad at it. Basically, trying to tell me is there's reports anyway about uh Cat. So, oh, Cat's done. There's reports about trading Cat too, but his contract is stupid too. It, oh, of course, because. They try to force him to be the face of a franchise, and he's not the, the different guy. And seeing the difference with Cat is he is an all star every year. You know, he missed a lot of games last year. You're right. He still was all star. Yeah. Yeah. He's in a lucky situation, though, because it's in the West. Okay. The center's in the West. Outside the Joker, the Central the West is not that many of them. Okay. When Rudy and Cap both get on the All Star team, and you got three players and y'all eight seed, nine seed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like all three of y'all make it. Yeah. Mm. We didn't talk about uh, Marcus Smart. No, we did not. Um, Marcus Smart. Obviously, got traded to Memphis. Um, can you break down that deal for him, Tom? I don't have that one in front of me at the moment. Um, uh, what was it? Marcus Smart for Tyus Jones? Tyus Jones was part of it, for sure. Uh, Tyus Jones went to Washington and Porzingis. That's what it was. Porzingis yeah, is yeah. involved. That's what it was. I couldn't remember. It took me a second. Like, well, no, no, you good. You good. I'm actually about to try to pull it up real quick here. And so, for some reason, that makes Boston the best team in the East for some reason. I honestly don't know how that works, but. I know why they're saying that, because you got to see what Milwaukee and Philly do. What they both got? Huh? Because you got to see what Milwaukee does with Chris and Philly do with Harden. That's the reason why they're saying that. Yeah, so uh, the official details here from ESPN.com, this is over here by Tim Bontemps. Uh, the Boston Celtics, Washington Wizards, and Memphis Grizzlies agreed to a three-team trade. This was last – this was a week ago. Uh, it sent Tristas Porzingis to the Celtics, Marcus Smart to the Grizzlies, and Tyus Jones to the Wizards. Um, Memphis so like sent it. Boston a first-round pick, uh, 25th overall for, for the draft that went down. So they got the 25th off of that deal. Um, and they sent Golden State's top four protected first round pick for next year's draft, 2024. Uh Celtics sent their 35th pick from the draft on um, last Thursday to Washington. So they ended up using that. And then of course the Celtics sent uh Danilo Gallinari and Mike Muscala to the Washington Wizards. It's disrespectful to Gallinari. Yeah, a little backstory on that. Um apparently Gallinari was like a big Celtics fan as a kid. Always wanted to play for him. 
And then it was sad because he got drafted, he got sent to him, traded to him, right? And got hurt before he could play for him. Yeah. But did you see what happened right before he got traded? Mm -mm. They picked his option up. <sighs> they picked his option up like Monday and then he got traded like a day or two later. That's, cool. That's why I was like, what? I would be pissed. 